Hi guys, welcome back. This is the continuation of the previous topic, shared preference using shared preference. If you not see the previous part, please go and see the previous part and come back again. Okay, in the previous part, we just save the data using the shared preference object. Now, uh, we are going to load or retrieve back the data uh, we are already saved using shared preference. So here, there are two buttons. We have already placed two buttons. First one is the save button and second one is the load button. So whenever the user click the load button, load data button, the data that we already saved are uh, retrieved back. So here I am going to uh, coding how we can uh, how we can obtain the data uh, from the shared preference object. So now we have to create an action listener action listener for the uh, load button so here the button object name is load load dot set on click listener new on click listener so in order to uh, get the data back we we uh, uh, we have to create an object of shared preference again so here the object is pref is equal to uh, using the same method get shared preference using the name that we already saved uh, here the shared preference object name is my details uh, we saved the data uh, using the key called uh, my details so here we using the same key otherwise we don't get the data uh, my details also here is you need to specify the mode of retrieval here I am using the mode private again uh, mode private ok now I have to retrieve the data for so I using to string string uh, get name is equal to using the shared preference dot get string here you need to pass the same key that uh, at the time of uh, here you need to specify the key that is same as uh, at the time of saving the data saving the data into the shared preference here the uh, key for the name is key name so here I just pass the name key name and here you need to specify a default value otherwise if the data is not found or here the data is not found whenever uh, then it will display as a default value here I just specify uh, a null value here that means a empty string here now I have to get the uh, mobile number get mobile is equal to using the shared preference object dot get string uh, key for retrieving mobile number is the key mob so here I using the same key otherwise you not you don't get the you do not get the uh, data from the shared preference key here again I just uh, specify the default value as an empty string now I just uh, display the value using toast toast dot main test get the base context here I display the data plus name sorry get name and now uh, mobile number mobile number is equal to uh, get mobile specify duration for the task to dot I make it as long now uh, make the toast visible using the show method that's it uh, now we complete the code for retrieving data from the shared preference here we just declare the shared preference object again and for getting a string value you we using the method called uh, get string or uh, if you want to get a float value you need to use the method called uh, get float here the two data are the string format so here I just uh, get the value of name into get name variable 
uh, here we need to specify the key uh, which is same as the key which is uh, used at the time of saving the data uh, here you need to here you need to specify uh, the default value for the uh, data uh, if the data is not given or uh, is the data is not retrieved successfully then the default value will appear uh, here I just display the uh, loaded data using a toast uh, now this is the time to check the project so now I am going to run the project run us and load application okay now you can see that the project is successfully launched and uh, here the form that we already created is loaded on the emulator so here is the name field here is the mobile number field there are two buttons save data and load data I just give my name here uh, okay I specify some mobile number here okay now I have to save the data now you can see the data successfully saved now it's the time to retrieve the data from the shared preference load data now image previous mobile number is given guys this is how we using shared preference for saving data in an Android application uh, you will get the complete source code of this topic from my blog my blog URL is given under the description of these videos uh, if you do not sub if you uh, not subscribe my channel please subscribe now my channel for getting more video updates thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial